He says, on any given Sunday, even the worst team can win if a few things fall their way. There was zero chance with no QB of beating the Saints, and we should have told the NFL we'd forfeit. Why risk the in- injury? I think the reason why is just simply pride. And in the best sense, John Elway's like, oh, you're going to make us either play without a Q or forfeit? I'm John Elway. We're going to play this game up yours. And in his own way, by playing the game, try to humiliate the NFL because the, it exactly. was a cheapened product. Even the Saints on the field to the Broncos, while it was happening, were like, dude, this is a joke. We shouldn't be playing you guys without a Q. And they're like, yeah, tell us about it, right? After the game, comments in the press from Saints players going, that was a travesty. So, I don't know. If Elway could do it again, maybe he would have just forfeited. I doubt it. That's just not how the the Duke uh, rolls. I don't think any GM or any NFL exec would forfeit. This isn't peewee. You go out there and you play regardless of the circumstance. Yeah, you have a practice squad wide receiver playing quarterback, but that's a situation uh, the, the NFL put the Broncos in. And by forfeiting, they would have been covering up for the NFL. No one would have seen the travesty that the game was. By playing that game, it showed the entire country. Look what the NFL did to Denver. They made them play without any other four quarterbacks. And Kendall Hinton, who literally no one ever heard of, it was their quarterback. And he completed, what, one pass for 12 or 13 yards. So he was absolutely right not to forfeit. And I hope in the future, if it ever happens again, no GM would forfeit that scenario because the NFL has to be – it has to be made aware what the NFL is doing when there's that type of implicit bias and double standards against one team. For posterity's sake, Kendall Hinton went one for nine, 13 yards passing, uh, two picks. MVP. So, you know, and the NFL goes, oh, we're going to try and mitigate the blowback here by saying, oh, we're going to kind of carve out a little place for Kendall Hinton in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Don't make us laugh. Don't make us laugh. 